Rich Berry says that my videos are so rad he never makes it past the first 10 seconds. So I hope that Rich... Oh, he's already left. It's been 10 seconds. I gotta keep the audience interested. I hope I'm keeping you interested. Or show tits. You don't want none of these, man. You don't want none of these. They are so white. The, co the camera would blow up, yo. I know something interesting, though. I can, like... Wow, look how fast my hands are going. Whoa! You don't want to throw hands with me, man. That's how fast I am. What happened? I... My hair was fine. As soon as I started the camera, it started doing weird stuff again. It's like yesterday. You know what the problem is? Can I share something with you? I haven't washed my hair since last Wednesday, so that's eight days. It was just awful. It's very hard to work with. And I keep meaning to like take a really long shower and wash my hair while I'm in that really long shower. Hey, wait, maybe we can... Who am I? Who am I? Who am I, everybody? You're fired. Maybe not. <sighs> Maybe I'll take a bath. I love taking baths, and I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I can find a bootleg observer and, and read it in the bath. And think about what might have been. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday. It's still Thursday. 6.14, now 6.15 p.m., and the current temperature is 73 degrees, and it's much too nice out for me to be inside. And yet I am, because I have an indoor job. Earlier today, out along the highway, a car apparently flipped over a couple times, did some interesting stuff, and occupied everybody who had a window seat against that side of the building. So, of course, I found out about it much too late and didn't get a good view. But the fire truck was pretty cool. Tow truck, not as interesting. But it's good to know that stuff does happen outside this building and that we can see it occasionally. This is my Blacko shirt. I'm showing you my Blacko shirt, right? We have a Blacko badge on the W. It hasn't really helped us show up in their search results any, but uh, we do have it. And I occasionally see visits from Blacko. We had an interesting activity this morning where someone from China started sending spam private messages to every user on the W. And it's like, you can't automate that. I, w I went back and I looked at the logs and I tried to figure out, okay, how do they do that? And it was as if some poor Chinese kid was sitting there, paste, click, back, select next name, paste, click, back. And, I mean, they're good at it. They're, they could turn it around in about eight seconds. But, man, how much do you think somebody gets paid for something like that? Enough to make it worth their while, I guess. But, like, none of those people are going to click on those links. It took me one MySQL statement to delete every one of those messages, wipe out that couple of hours worth of work. Uh, how long was it? Thankfully, the moderators were paying attention because I sure wasn't. Part of my problem was I stayed up last night watching the entire stadium debate, even though I knew it was going to pass. And from being half awake, half asleep, they finally voted on it at 3.30 in the morning. There was really, oh, I got a message. Ah, I know what that's about. I encouraged that thread. I hope that won't be a mistake. Stayed up till 3.30 to watch the House final debate, final vote, and it passed. But at least they took out that internet tax they were trying to sneak in. You know, they were trying to sneak in a bunch of stuff that had nothing to do with the stadium. For instance, internet tax, which means that every Amazon purchase I make would have sales tax put on it because it's unfair to Best Buy and Target that I shop online. Best Buy and Target, of course, can't match Amazon's prices either. That's the real reason I shop there, not the fact that there's no sales tax, although it helps. 
but they want to charge sales tax on all internet purchases. And not have the proceeds go to the stadium. So it really had nothing to do with the stadium. They just wanted to sneak a tax in there. Fantastic. Fortunately, it got edited out in conference. The other thing was a tax break for Mall of America because God knows they need another tax break. That also got written out in conference. So the final bill was pretty much stadium only. And still didn't pass with a large number. It was like about six votes, I think, either way. But caused me a lot of problems getting up today. Of course, I had to forego my hair washing time. Fortunately, I got in and there was still a fritter waiting for me. I love that. And uh, if you want to see that fritter, videos have been posted at the appropriate locations. Here's to you, by the way. Let me continue my conversation with Haz. I shouldn't call him Haz. I should call him Peter, but you probably know him as Haz. We've been talking about President's Choice brand, and I said I thought it was a Walmart brand, and I, I'm wrong. Sam's Choice is the Walmart brand. Now, because I could not figure out where I had sworn I had seen President's Choice before not in Canada, I went to Wikipedia. Actually, I ended up at Wikipedia. I don't know. I did some kind of search, and of course, Wikipedia came right up. And this will be interesting to nobody but me, but again, it's one of those coincidental things where my life intersects with something. President's Choice was available from 1995 to 1999 at Lucky Stores. And it just so happens that when I moved to Sunnyvale in 1995, I was half a block over and across the street from a Lucky, so that's where all my grocery shopping was done. So when I saw President's Choice there, naturally, because it was the extent of my world, I just assumed the entire world had President's Choice. No, it was just that one chain in California of which happened to be my primary grocery store. Isn't that interesting? No. But somehow it stuck with me. And so every time, probably I have seen Sam's Choice, but I've always associated it with President's Choice and just in my head got it so muddled the Wikipedia will remember so that I don't have to. One more interesting intersection, and this one, it does affect me and it doesn't. The President's Choice for a limited time, I'm trying to find it now, and I'm not. Hang on a minute, because I want to read it to you. Oh, by the way, the end of the Lucky story was Lucky was bought by Albertsons, and all the Lucky stores became Albertsons, and they dropped the brand. Not quite as interesting. But I will say, when Albertsons bought Lucky, they did a really nice remodeling job on it, and they took it from the 60s to the 90s, and it really made a big difference. One thing I love about California grocery stores is the vodka aisle. You can't buy booze in grocery stores in this state. It was what we've painfully made clear several previous episodes, but that was always fun, going down that aisle, and also taking girls down that aisle. And the girls out there know what I'm talking about. None of them are watching this. But the other uh, intersection for President's Choice, it turns out that New Deal, a grocery store chain that was only in Modesto, California, and surrounding areas. I think there was one in Sonora, and, but Central California. They carried President's Choice. Isn't that interesting? Because I was from Modesto and still went to Modesto on weekends, usually, to play softball and... Uh, visit with friends because I never bothered to make friends in the Bay Area. So, again, interesting to know one but me. Clearly not interesting to Rich Barry who left after 10 seconds. But, just another snippet of my life I'm sharing with you and future generations through the magic of YouTube. Believe it or not, I've used up my 10 minutes. So I'm going to cut it off We'll have a big weekending Friday show tomorrow. Perhaps then. I will eat these chuckles because I have forgotten once again. I could probably down them in 20 seconds. No. That would not be pleasant. But I'm going to wrap it up and head out of here and gird my loins to try to show up at a decent hour tomorrow, unlike today. Lots of work. Until then, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.